We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Take cover! Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelian. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! wherever the Geth are bunkered. Check in with Fidan, but I think we're done here. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Ender, what can I do for you? What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have to go. So long, Commander. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up.
I still need the power cells for this generator, though. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have to go. I wish you luck. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. A captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she space-worthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Goodbye. Good luck out there. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those... things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. I don't have time for this. Well, don't stay too long. Or time will be all you have.
Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Hello again, Commander. I killed the Big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're not dead, but the Geth have really pounded them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there... I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Geth, or one of those Baron. 
You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. A Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. All right, I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37. The Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. So that's why they were acting weird. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus Hope. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. The Geth used these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. Subtle as a boot to the face. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. The layout of this room reminds me of the temples my people used to build. 
Do you think the Geth were using it for religious services? Hey, if they're looking for God, I'd be happy to speed them on their way. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. One claw. Barring the exit, will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create.
You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogenic database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon or be prepared to use it. If, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. does to people, but that's not human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. 
You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! We just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Keep. What is that? We are gonna need bigger guns. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feel the ground. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? 
And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exegetes' threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn Cypher. That is sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. She said it could take a while. I needed the cipher. It's going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau Cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. 
admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am.